Because it's Sunday. This morning when I wake up, I was like, Lord, gusto ko nang mag-divo, pero nakatulog po ako. And I was like, Lord, mag exhort ako, hindi pa ako nag-divo. But yet, I was like, but you have been preparing for this for a long time. And um, hindi siya equivalent to what you did, why we worship God. Sabi pa kahapon ni Reverend Edmund Chan, yung rituals and regimentation, That's wrong. We worship a God despite of who we are, despite of what we did. Sabi sa Psalms 3:4, I cried aloud to the Lord and He answered me from His holy hill. We worship a God who responds, who responds to prayer, who responds to worship, who, who responds to our hearts. Sabi sa Psalms 3:5, I lay down and slept and I woke again for the Lord sustained me. Look to the person beside you. Buhay ba yan? I wanna tell you, buhay yan? Kasi ginising niya ni Lord today. Sabi dito, I woke again for the Lord sustained us. We are here because God is continually sustaining us. The breath in our lungs is from the Lord. No? And we praise God for that. This Sunday, we're going to celebrate God for that. For continually sustaining us for seven days. And for seven days more. And lastly, sabi sa Psalms 12.6, The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. We celebrate for we are going to receive and hear the truth today. Yung ipipreach today, that will be a word purified seven times. There's no lie to that, no doubt to that. Pure truth. Are you excited? to hear the truth of the Lord and worship the God who said that. Let's worship church. Come on, oh, everyone who has the life of Jesus, say hallelujah. Louder. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus, we thank you for this time and we remember, Lord, your goodness in our lives. Thank you, God, for sustaining us and now we have the strength We have the joy to worship your name.
Lord, remember your goodness in our lives. Lord, we may have to go out to
are changing, you do not. You remain the same. And what you've done, Lord, will never be changed. You died on the cross. You called us by name. And you saved us, so oh God, and called us redeemed. Lord, we come you before your presence with humility and just want to say thank you. privilege, Lord, to be in your presence, because your presence is enough. Lord, it is our prayer. May we continually encounter you. May we see you, Jesus. May we hear you. May you speak over us, oh God. May you continually change our lives.
verses 22 to 34 which teaches about money and possessions but I love how it started by telling us not to worry about anything so verse 22 then turning to his disciples Jesus said that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life whether you have enough food to eat or enough clothes to wear for life is more than food and your body more than clothing and in the next verse says it just tells that um, for we are more than um, we are far more worth valuable than the birds in the sky and the lilies in the field. So God will just really care for us um, more. And then jumping to verse 29, he says, And don't be concerned about what to eat and what to drink. Don't worry such things, for these things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers all over the world. But we are not unbelievers, for we have a God, our good Father, who already knows our needs. And if we seek the kingdom of God above all else, He will give you everything you need. And so verse 32, so don't be afraid, little flock, for it gives your father great happiness to give you the kingdom. And on verse 33, ito na yung money and possessions. So sell your possessions and give to those in need. This will store up treasure for you in heaven. So yes, ironically, as sabi dito, you store up by giving. Because giving is an act of surrendering and admitting that, yes, Lord, all that I have in this world, cannot compare to what you have given me on the cross like I count it all as loss for all my wealth is in the cross and that more than anything all I need is you God and us giving is also believing that our good father is more than happy to provide for his children if we seek him and he sees that simple act of giving to reward you with heavenly treasures and to continue with verse 33 for the purses of heaven never get old or develop holes. So your treasure will be safe where no moth can where no thief can steal it and no moth can destroy it. And the last verse says, For where your heart where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. And this is because finances exposes the priorities of your heart. Because as you have noticed, what we think is important. 
we wouldn't mind spending for it. Am I right? Or I am right. <laughs> diba? We spend more on what we like, what we crave, what we think we need, even how trivial it is. Kasi nga, andun yung heart natin. Eh. Gusto natin yun. And pansin mo na, if you have something so valuable na pinagkasusan mo talaga, of course, you would take care for it. No, um, you would treasure it. Pinupunasan mo, pinoprotektahan mo na hindi magasgas, hindi malaglag. Tapos, pag biglang mawala o biglang masira, of course, it would hurt you big time, ain't it? Pero pag, um, example, lapis mo lang or ballpen mo lang yung nawala, okay lang, di ba? Pero pag may isang mamahaling bagay na nasira, pero hindi yun sa'yo, wala ka rin pakit, di ba? Kasi nga, wala doon yung pera mo, wala din doon yung puso mo. Kaya, what if mag-invest din tayo for the Lord? What if we also offer our resources for His kingdom? May it be money, our skills, knowledge, or whatnot. What if we freely give our treasures to what God tells us? Wouldn't that make our heart follow these treasures? Wouldn't that allow us to give our hearts to Him? So you see, this message isn't actually all about giving. It's all about God changing our, our hearts as we give so that we can see everything that He has for us. Because He doesn't want anything from us. He wants something for us. So as we give and we open our hearts to Him, let me just pray for our giving and our offering. Father God, we thank You and honor You, God, for blessing us even in those times we don't see it. We thank You for being our Father who provides so faithfully. God, we will always be in awe, thinking that You don't even need a single thing, but still You want our hearts, God. I pray for everyone in this room, even those online and those who will be watching on rebroadcast. God, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that as we give, Lord, may we give and Lord, give you our hearts. As we give, God, transform our hearts, open our eyes, Father God, and let us turn our worries, Lord God, into gratefulness. God, I thank you, Father, for every person acting in faith, Lord God, from the seeds they sow, Lord God, the decisions that they make, Lord God, to obey you, Lord God. And however you want to do with these offerings, Lord, have it your way, God. Lord, bless every seed that is sown today as we give, even out of our need, God. We ask you to prove that doubt and worry is wrong, Father Lord. We give you honor, Lord God. We give you praises. We give you all the adoration, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say amen and amen. Lalaki to lalaki, babae to babae From the opposite side Nasa left, ari sa sa right Right to the left okay. Kanang dili pa kaayo kailan ni mo No left, oh yes 
Babae to sa babae, lalaki to lalaki. Ayan. Find a partner, make it sure na nakay partner. Kung tulang ang isa, pwede to ha, tulog, no? Kana. Ayan. Since it's belonging to a community, na na ba'y partner ang tanan? Na na? Now! Karun! Since na na kay partner karun, ang itawag ani, hindi kayo kong sure sa name, no? Arm to arm together. Kanang anak yun daw, together. Kamang tulo. Pwede ragtapad, pwede ragdili magsub. Okay, kana. And, go to another person na mga nagpartner and ask them, no? Meet them. Say, hi, happy Sunday. Happy saam. Happy to see you. So, go. Ipaila-ila imong kauban. Basin, wala mo siya nakaila na to, mga mga kauban. Dari sa destiny. Pwede ni mo siya ipaila-ila. forward no para pud ang mga moabot easy for them no to fill in the our seat ayan so now nabatay mga VIPs we want to welcome our VIPs nabatay first timer may request nga mo Ray, sa ilang han ilang first time hi ma'am usa gyud name ni mo ma'am ani ani so later on pwede mo mo say hi ni ma'am ani and kin say second timer nato karon second timer Welcome, second timer. I believe nag-enjoy ka mo ng nibali ka karun. Napatay lang yung second timer. Hi, si Ma'am Joy, no? Joy, yes. Third timer. Napatay third timer. Fourth, ay na third timer. Nathaniel, no? Tama. Hi. Fourth timer. Natay fourth timer. Ayan. And of course, end timer. Ayan. Welcome everyone to our Sunday service. There is a Destiny Church every 9.30 a.m. And, basi na kung nag-wonder mo, nga nang Destiny? Nga no ka ha? Pangota na daw? Nga nang Destiny? Yes, because we believe in the verse, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the... Ah, sa to? For I know the plans I have for you. Ah, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and... Future. So, pwede ba ingnan ni mo yung mohang tapat? Naaman day kay future? O, oh, diba? Naaman day kay destiny? Dili man day aksidente yung mong life? O, oh, diba? And dili aksidente nga naakadari ka ron sa ato ang Sunday service. Kinsa excited sa atong word today? Wow, with energy, Jod. Naka-breakfast yun ang tanan, no? With energy, Jod. So, but before that, Brace yourself, prepare your Bible, no notebook, and ball pen, ball pen for our word for the day. Please help me welcome our preaching pastor, Pastor Daniel Limpiado. Karon. So once again, my name is Kenny and I'm really excited and delighted to see all of you. Ingon pa ni Remy ganina, nga no gani destiny ang tawag na panay mga lain nga mga sub-story. Sa unang panahon, sikat pa to ang destiny's child. So sugsugun mo yata sa una, destiny? Destiny's child? Kinsa na kaila of destiny's child? Oh, wala na no. And then sa una po, mapagkamalan po may nga, unsa man ang destiny, hilig siguro kaayo mo pag-usapan ang love life. Kay sikat man to ang kanta sa una nga, Baby, you're my destiny, you and I will always be. So murag, ang pag muingon gani og tao nga, word nga destiny, ang first thing that would come into their mind, 
love life, love life di ahine. Pero actually, dili. Ingon pa ni Remy ganina, the reason why we call this church destiny, pwede man siya tawagon o laing laing klaseng pangalan, it's because we firmly believe ang giingon ni Lord sa Jeremiah 29.11 nga na siya'y dako nga plano sa ato. Basahon daw na ito, this time, atong basahon sa Bisaya. Naaba dira? One, two, three, go! Nasayod ako sa akong mga plano alang kaninyo. Plano alang sa inyong kaayuhan o dili sa kaalautan. Plano sa paghatag kaninyo paglaom o maayong kaugmaon. Kinsi mo ingon, lahi ra ang duot kong bisaya, di ba? Asa ang mga bisdak dire? Yan. Sa mga dili taga Cebu, pa-translate na lang mo sa inyong mga tupad. Amazing ka ayo ka giingon dira no we are not here accidentally walay aksidente nga mahitabo sa atong kinabuhi it is not by chance it is not by luck it is god making a plan so ang mga kids and teens di ay ato ta didto sa likod we will have our teens church and kids church so it's ina mo tupad it's not by chance di ba it's by god's plan We were created with a mission. We were created with a purpose. Ina among self, I have a purpose. We are not meant to just exist and to float. Asa ang mga students dire? Dili lang ni mo purpose nga moagi lang kasi among skwelahan and then mawala. Or ang mga nag-work, asa? Base ng inyong cycle, eat, sleep, repeat. Diba? There is more to life than that. God has given you an assignment. You have a purpose. You have a mission. And amazing siya nga plano. Kay ang ginoo nga nagbuhat sa tanang nindot nga butang, siya mismo ang nagcraft ana nga plan. Are you there? So our life really consists about discovering, Lord, ay ngun pa to ni Rick Warren sa una, what on earth am I here for? Do you already have an answer to that purpose statement, to that mission statement? Nga no bitaw na buhi ka? Nga no bitaw nga naa ka diri? And if ever dili pa na ni mo ma-answer, padayon lang. Because you will never be fulfilled unless God's purpose for you is fulfilled. Are you there? Kinsa sa inyo, excited ka pag mag-outing-outing? Di ba no? Especially kung nakaplano na tanan. And ang imo na lang buhaton kay mo adto na lang, di ba? So, kitang mga people nga kabaluta nga nay amazing a plan si God sa atong life, dapat malipayon ta. Dapat hopeful ta. Kay na may plano si God. Tanawa imong tupad kung malipayon ba na. Tanawa imong tupad kung hopeful ba na. Kor ko ano ba? February pa lang gani ang iyang naong kay ko ana, Holy Week na, di ba? Pero Are, are you with me? If we really believe that God has plans for us, then we should be excited. Kinsa excited sa plans ni God for you. And amazing, God would always exceed our expectation, our wildest imagination, because our God is really a good and loving God. Do you agree? Yeah. Di ba? And also, here at Destiny, dili lang ta kabalong, na ay plans and purpose si God, we are also a people of vision. Say the word with me, vision. Di ba? We're not a bunch of mga people nga mura go, go, go lang. Di ba? Na atay nakita sa future and ato na siyang gi-target. So, akong example dari ang mga newlyweds. Dari ang mga newlyweds, dari ba? So, ayan. Si Eric and si Honey, congratulations for being married for the past eight days. Oh, di ba? We hope it will become 80 years or more. So, example si Eric. Kabalog yun siya din, na siya yung vision. Ang iyang vision kay si Hani. O, di ba? Pero, let's say, without vision daw, ingon sa Proverbs 29.18, without vision, people perish. So, let's say, kaya nang Eric, pwede niyo ba, ano, balik ko ang sanay mo hang, niya, itabon lang sa iyong mata. Kabawa ni siya sa iyang plano. Ituyok-tuyok ti ka, Erica. Ituyok-tuyok. Wait lang. 
Nay, nay. <laughs> Wala sana. <laughs> uh, sige. Eric, go to your destiny. <laughs> <laughs> La. <laughs> Sige, palakpakan nato si Eric. Wait lang. Mo na ang mahitabo nato if magsimba-simba lang ta, pero wala nato gi-internalize nga naagi plano si God and dapat atong plano makita on sa plano ni God. We really need our eyes to be open, Lord. You said, Lord, you have plans. You said, Lord, you have a wonderful purpose, a wonderful future for me. Pero asa man na, Lord. Unsa man na, Lord. Reveal that to me so that I can live it out. Example si Eric, kita na. So Eric, go to your destiny. Ah? <laughs> Sige, palakpakan na to sila. Thank you, Eric and honey. Ay na yung tupad lahi, ragyod. Kung naa kay vision. Diba? Many of us, we do have a vision. We have a vision to get married someday. Nabi mga inana, start a family, magpalit og balay, magpalit og sakyanan. Some students, asa mga students, napod niya sila vision. Ilang vision is to graduate with flying colors. Naba? Kinsa sa inyo, imong vision every semester, uno tanan. Oh, di ba? Praise God. Sanay mga vision. Without vision, people perish. Kung hagbong ka, basta in the first place, wala ka nag-invision na makapasar ka. Are you there? Asa ang mga nag-work dire? Siguro, ang inyong vision kay to be promoted. Do you like that? To have an increase in salary. Amen. And to one day replace your boss. Ah? Ikaw na po ang mamuli. Kay grabe ka siya makadagsugo. That is good. We have vision in all these things. But my question is, in our Christianity, in our spiritual life, do you have a vision? Or ang imo lang vision, basta maka-add to lang every Sunday. Basta from, ano, kahit once a month lang maka-life group. Is there more to your Christian life compared sa paglingkod-lingkod lang dira? Are you with me? Ingun pa ganito, di ba? When there is no vision, people perish. Maybe that's the reason why five years na ka, ten years, twenty years na ka, Christian. But you don't see any progress in your life. You're stuck in a rut. Same old, same old. O sa hay ganit, boring pa. O sa hay ganit, bugat na. Nga no magsimba-simba pa man ko, bugat na. Nga no mo abli pa man ko, Bible, bugat mo yun ang Bible. If we don't see vision for our spirituality, chances are we will really perish, di ba? Chances are we will not really progress. And if there is one vision na dapat ma-embrace na to, ognaan na to, we should have a vision that our life, our main priority is God. Picture a life. How does a life look like when God is the first, when God is the priority? We would be talking about vision in the coming days. Pero kailangan, ko naaman lang tayo makuha sa kani atong topic on vision, no? Kailangan kita mismo maka-picture out for ourselves that we have a life na ang primary pursuit, ang primary nga priority kay si God. Ingun pa ganito, seek first the kingdom of God. Dili siya in the matter of order nga, hala, mata na ko. Wait lang, si Lord muna. And then, sige Lord, bye-bye. Okay na ko magbuhat o anything else. Sometimes we just think of it as order. Basta na una lang, okay, okay na. Pero it's not just about the matter of order. It also talks about value and importance. Are you there? So let's just close our eyes as we begin the word. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that today, Our eyes will be opened. Our eyes will be opened to your vision, to your plans, to your purposes in each of our lives. I pray that we will transcend our normal dreams, Lord, our normal imagination. But we want your inputs, O oh God. 
We even acknowledge that we're still very, very far, and we ask for your help. Be the one, Lord, to make this word understandable and enable us, O God, to apply it in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This year, we started with, unsa to atong series karon nga year sa mga naadere. We started with, ano, discipleship journey. Or starting all over again. Sakto na gihapon na. And murag maguna-huna ito, no? Unsa man dahil niya siya ang discipleship journey? Simply put, it's a roadmap. Simply put, it's vision. We want people to see where they are and where they could be. Diba? That's the purpose of a map. In one time, sa una, katong 2016, akong trabaho kay HR slash geologist, nag-company outing mi sa Seoul. Niya ang money, nakoy map dira. Ang gitas nila nako kay maging navigator. And then maglibog jud ko nga no grabe man kaayo niya ang ilang trains didto. So murag daghan kaayo murag may kus may kus no. Daghan kay mga line diri nga line. And then ang pinakalibog pag gidira asa di ay ko. Murag Han River. Pero ano daghan man kaayo ni. So di ba? Ingon ani ni siya. Ingon ana ang vision, ingon ana ang map. It plots dapat where you are so that you can see the big picture. But our discipleship journey is not that complicated. Can you flash our discipleship journey? It's just very cute, diba? Right? It's just four things. Pwede niyo iingon. Unsa ganyan ni? Ang atong first ang ipag-usapan kay believe in Jesus. Actually, that's the first thing that we need to come into terms with. Do you really believe in Jesus? Do you really believe that He is the Son of God? That He is what He says He is? And that when He died for us on the cross, our sins are really forgiven? Or mura lang siya something, a thought, but it's not actually a reality sa imuha. Are you there? Is it obvious in your everyday living that you believe in Jesus? Believe in Jesus, not just in the matter of salvation, pero sa matag-adlaw, sa atong pagkaon, sa atong trabaho, sa atong pamilya, do you trust Jesus? Muna ato yung ginapag-usapan kay everything will really start with believing. Dili ibig sabihin nga, muad to ka sa church and then mausab ka. Because our, ang atong pag-add to sa church, dili makausab sa kinabuhi. Ang inay mong tupad, friend, sorry to say, Dili ka mausab. Tungod na ka dere. Di ba? Because only God can change us. Real change can only come from God. In the same way, dili ibig sabihin, musulod ka og McDonald's, inigawas ni mo, burger McDo na ka. Di ba? And many people, they just see, ay, mo, ito ko og church, mo, believe na ko. No. Many people, they go to church every Sunday. But then they realize, they still don't believe in Jesus. Pangmata na imong tupad. Do you believe in Jesus? Diba? Second, we talked about belonging to a community. When we believe in Jesus, it's not over yet. Sa una, pagbata na ako, naghuna-huna ako nga. Ang main purpose sa akong kinabuhi is to believe in Jesus. And then, i-believe na ako ni Jesus. So, pwede na lang ikumoto sa heaven, Lord. Pero... Buhi pa man ko, napasiguro kay plans and purpose sa ako. So it does not stop with believing in Jesus. Ing na mong tupad, na apay next level. Di ba? Example, na ay mga babies. And then ang babies, inig-anak sa mga babies, i-abandon ba na nato? Babay baby, go, oh, go, 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 live your life. Di ba, Dili? God placed babies into families so that the families can take care of the baby, can nurture the baby, so that the baby would grow. Ingon sa Bible, when we believe in Jesus, we are born again. So we become spiritual babies. And walay spirito, walay baby nga, kaya ko na. O oh, baby, Bible, o oh, kaya mo na, go, 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 dili. God places babies into families, into communities, so that they can be helped to grow. Ina mong tupad, nag-life group na baka. 
di ba? Last week, isa na last week, we had a wonderful time with Pastor Carlo, no? Amazing man dahil ang community. Usap pa tayo naman remember na ay safety, na ay support, na ay security, na ay encouragement. Sa una, ang tawag na to sa life group, cell. And what is a cell? The cell is the basic unit of life. In the same way that the cell or the life group is the basic unit of the life group, uh, of the church. So, ang atong goal di ay is not just to be a church with cells or a church with life group, but a cell church, a life group church, a church nga ang main thrust kay ang life group. So, ina mong tupad, kung wala pa kay life group, invite ka sa akong life group. Diba? Because life is indeed better live together. Kasi mo agree. Lahi rag yun ang kinabuhi if you have a community. Diba? And then, sige, okay. On, Kenny, ni believe na ko, check. I firmly believe in Jesus. I trust in Jesus. And then, Kenny, okay na. Ka imagine mo, vision ni ha? So you really need to see yourself in the equation. Okay, Kenny, nag-believe na ko. Karon, I now belong to a community. I belong to a family. I am growing together with them. Nagkiskisan pa me, di ba? Because iron sharpens iron. And some people, they don't like to be part of a community. Kaysa mo kita, kaysa mo agree. Asa ang mga introverts diri apil na ko ana murag mas okay pa man nga mapag-isa di ba sa mo kay ang mga tao kinsa sa inyo ganahan ka magmall wa kay ganahan ka uban kay kung naa kay ka uban dugay kay ka mahuman di ba ako pa naman medyo magdali pero mi ganahan ko isa lang isa lang the fastest fastest way pero kung naay tao hello hello 5 minutes na hello diri na pud ta madugay jud ta pero lahira ang kinabuhi nga nakay kauban. I'm not saying na pirmi ka mag-uban, pero na ay time. Na ay time to be alone, na ay time to be with people. So, Kenny, okay na ako sa belong to a community. Asa na yung mga life group? Dere, can say proud to be part of the life group. ba? Diba? But it doesn't stop there. So, Kenny, na ako sa life group. Pwede na ko kuha o ni Lord. Hadlock man sa tayo na. Good. I have fulfilled my purpose, Lord. I'm ready. Inana ba, Dili? God will tell you, it's not over yet. Sa una, akong mangho, Dili kayo matanaog, Ryoma at Shizen. Ano ang pirmi niya, balik-balik on kay Madamadadane. Ah, kasi nakarelate na. Meaning nga na, it's not over yet. So, unsa man Kenny, akong Christian life, nag-believe na ako, nag-nanakoy, belonging na sa community, mauna ba ni? The answer is no. There is the next level. And what is the next level, Kenny? Mauna atong pag-usapan ka ron. It is becoming like Jesus. Say it with me. Becoming, becoming. like Jesus. Diba? At ta sa Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. Ingon dira, imitate God therefore in everything you do because you are His dear children. Live a life filled with love following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered Himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. So ingon dira, no? imitate God. Naani translation sa Bisaya, atong atuon, Efeso chapter 5 verse 1 to 9. Tungod kay kamo mga hinigug mga anak sa Dios, sundugan ninyo siya. Kinahanglan makita kanunay sa inyong kinabuhi, nga gihigugman ninyo ang uban sama sa paghigugman ni Kristo kanato. Kay gihatag pa niya ang iyang kinabuhi, alang ka na to, isip mahumot nga halad ngadto sa Diyos. So ang command ni God na to, imitate Him. Sa Bisaya, sunduga. Nagsundog-sundog ba ka ni Lord? Pag high school, nami favorite nga game. Kay ba man ang shaggy di shaggy di shapupu? Di ba nga man na siya, no? Kay ang first person mag-make of action and then ang sunod nga person mag-follow sa action. So really, ang atong goal di ay, di ba? Ang atong first point karon we are called to imitate Jesus. Magsunod-sunod daw ta. 
Di ba? And why is it? Because, ingon dito, mga anak ta sa Diyos. We are children of God. And ang pagiging children of God, it is actually a privilege given to people who believe in Jesus. So, kung nag-believe naman ni Jesus, amazing ang privileheyo, gitawag na mo nga anak ni God. All people, they are created by God. But not everyone is a child of God. What will make a child of God different from a creation of God? If that person believes in God, then he will be a child of God. Munang very important yun kaayo, nga nag-believe muna ta. And magunahuna aman ta nga, dili ba ni siya murag pinugos man ni Kenny, o yung sama ni si Lord, iya kong git, Iya kung gipa believe niya, ganahan na dahil siya na yung magsunod-sunod. Pero actually, kung gitawag ta og children of God, it reminds us of grace. Example, katong law, katong, di ba, ang first books of the Bible, gitawag na to na og Torah or Pentateuch. And then, most ana, mga law, yun. Pero akong question, when was the law given? Gihatag ba na ang law sa Genesis pa lang? Abraham! Isaac, Jacob, dara ako mga balaod, sunda ninyo para inig to ninyo sa Egypt. If inyo gani sundon ang mga balaod na ako, kay is set free ta mo. Was that the case? Kinsay na una, ang exodus, ang redemption, or ang law? Nauna ang redemption. So ibig sabihin, we follow God not to be saved. We follow God because we are already saved. It is not about doing, doing, doing so that we can earn the favor of God. God already gives us the favor. And as a result of that favor, we want to be like Him. Yun sa mga lalaki dere. Karemember mo pagbata ninyo, ganahan mo sa uto ng sapato sa inyong papa? Kina, kar kita ka kung mangho dere. Karemember mo kana niya. Iyang sa uto ng sapato sa mga papa na maglakaw-lakaw siya. Kaya nga naman, it's a joy of a child to be like his father. Asa ang mga mama dere, makabantay po kung mga post, ang mga mother and daughter, hilig po mag-twinning-twinning. Di ba? Because it's the joy of a child to be like her, his mother, her mother. So, ang atong pagsunod-sunod kay God, it's because we are His children. Ina mong tupad, imitate Christ. And ang cool diri, imitate Him in everything you do. Sa Bisaya, kinahanglan makita kanunay in all areas di ay. Because some people, they follow God in this area. But in the other areas of their life, they don't. Example, they follow Jesus nga mag-pray. Oh, sige Lord, mag-pray ko. Pero when it comes, makakita sila og mga street children. Hmm, hello? Pero if you are reminded nga si Jesus, grabe ang iyang heart sa mga marginalized, kanang mga nagisod mga pobre, mong follow sad ka. Are you there? Sometimes, dagang mga tao, maayo kayo mag-Bible-Bible, mag-memorize og mga verses, pero sa ilang mga balay, dili mahugas og plato, dili maglimpyo, dili mutahod, dili mutabang. So, dili na mao. Oh, kay ang call ni Lord nato is to imitate God in everything. Ingan daw, in everything. Sa tanan daw, ka-amazing ana, no? And it's really a loving command. Ang kaning word nga imitate, it is from the Greek word mimites. Meaning, it's a positive imitation arising from admiring a pattern worthy of emulation. Kita siya og pattern. Hala, nindot lagi na. Kinsa sa inyo na kay mga classmate nga ma-encourage ka magtuon. Example, ikaw, wala na, hagbong na, di na ko magtuon. Kita ko sa inyong classmate, hala, nag-learning pala gini siya. Sige, sige, I will follow. Encourage po ka, di ba? Kinsa sa inyo, 8 to 5 ang schedule sa work. And kinsa sa inyo, nang hipos na kagamit, 4.45 pa lang. Mang hipos na ko. Pero kung kita ako, og office mate ni mo, hala, alasin ko na, palagi siya nila ka, marag maikog na ka. Ganahan ako mong follow niya. Sige, 6 p.m. na lang po ko. Uh, Mag-offer tayo na lang po ko. There are people like that, di ba? And yun ano doon ng imitation, kita ka og something positive. And you want that. So you follow that. Kita ka sa mga to, hala, six-pack lagi na iyang abs. Maraginahan sa goda. So you try. Kasi yung mga nag-try-try, 
and error na lang gihapon, no? Try and try. Wala gihapon ka nag-succeed. Pero you get my point? Kita, aka og something, a positive, you want to follow it. When you know God, you will discover God is really amazing and you want to follow Him. Na ako sa una, ganahan ko mo tanaw, ganahan mo ko mo tanaw og mga baking baking. Ang one nga salida nga ganahan ko tanawon before kay nailed it. Ang purpose, ang meaning na nailed it, magkuha sila kasi familiar og nailed it sa Netflix. Magkuha sila og mga amateur bakers, like mga bakers nga wala hanaw sa kalibutan and then naa sila ihatag nga pattern nga cake nga ilang sundon. And one of the funniest episode is this. Could you flash the picture? Mao ni dapat ang iyang sundon. <laughs> Guapa nga dal, di ba? Pero ang nigawas <laughs> si Chaka dal. <laughs> Funny gid na, ang malingaw ko sa show kay makita niyo mga kato- katawanan kayo ang mga people. Pero really, baking and decorating cakes, it's not for everyone, di ba? Need sa kaog training, need kaog skills. Pero magkatawa ko ana niya. And sa karon, di ba, uso man kayo si Taylor Swift na apoy nag-try nga mag-follow. Kinsa siya si Taylor Sheesh, di ba? Makakita ako mga news sa US kaya gina-feature na po si Taylor Sheesh. Ang ira mang buhaton, mag-sundog-sundog, mag-lip-sync lang gani siya, di ba? So that is imitating. Akong question, who are you imitating? Who are you imitating. Diba? And ang kaning word po nga imitate, it's in the Greek imperative meaning it has no end. You keep on imitating. You continually imitate. You keep on doing this as a lifestyle. So imitating God, it's not a one-time event. We actually need it every day. And there is no ending. Up until Jesus returns, then that will be our game over. Pero hangtod wala pa, padayon ta nga mag-imitate. Ina mong tupad, padayon sa pag-imitate. ba? Diba? Until maging habitual, maging part sa imong life. ba? Diba? And yun eh, uh, it is in the area of everything. And sa verse nga atong yubasa ganina, specifically, unsa dito yung ipag-usapan, baliko na to. Imitate the Lord in everything. Live a life filled with love. Follow the example of Christ. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. One area that really needs, that we really need to imitate God is in the area of love and relationship. Diba? Sa una, atong mindset sa love, kay kiligon ko, butterflies in my stomach. But when you see the kind of life that Jesus lives, it's a different love. It's a sacrificial love. So kung muingon nga, we want to be like Jesus, we want to imitate Jesus, then dapat ang atong kinabuhi, known by love. Because Jesus lived his life full of love. Kung pangutan na ako, imong mama, imong papa, imong mga igsoon, mangutan ako, unsay one word nga ika-describe ni mo sa imong anak. Unsa ilang ito bag. Ah, akong anak, buutan mana? Tapulan lang usahay. Kana akong anak, oh, gwapa mana? Hugawan lang siya. Uy, kana siya, pag nasa sa mood, okay na. Pero kung wala nasa sa mood, kana medyo maldita raba na, no? Pero ingon dito, live a life full of love. We should be people nga ang una mangunahunaan sa mga tao na to. Ay, si Eric, loving na siya. Oh, amen? Si Nuki, ah, loving na siya. Because we are imitating God. Do you like that? But we know it's hard. Kaya nga, ang ato ang pag-imitate kay God, it's not a one-time event. It's a process. It's a journey. Kinsa sa inyo mo ingon, layo pa kay ka sa tinuod. Diba? We're still very far, but it's okay. All of us are a work in progress. Ina mong tupad, pagpasensyahi lang ko. Kay parihos rata. <laughs> parihos rata. Nobody is perfect. Are you there? So yun. Ito tong first point. We are called to imitate Jesus. 
So ang pag-become like Jesus, dili lang niya siya imbento, imbento na to. Pero maoday na atong calling as believers. Second, we are not just called to imitate nga magsunod-sunod lang. We are also called to reflect Jesus. Basahon lang nato ni 2 Corinthians 3, 13 to 18. We are not like Moses who put a veil over his face so the people of Israel would not see the glory even though it was destined to fade away. But the people's minds were hardened. And to this day, whenever the old covenant is being read, the same veil covers their mind so they cannot understand the truth. And this veil can be removed only by believing in Christ. Yes, even today when they read Moses' writings, their hearts are covered with that veil and they do not understand. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord who is the Spirit makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. During the time of Moses, after si Moses mag-encounter with God, iyang butangan og veil ang iyahang nao. So that people cannot see the glory of God. Diba? And kana nga veil, gigamit po siya nga symbol nga many people, they don't get God. Many people, they don't understand God. Kasi ka remember sa imo sa unang panahon, ako po sa unang, ang sama na sila, oy, hallelujah, praise the Lord, ngano, inaanaman na sila, dili ka kasabot, diba? Pe, kay nga ano daw, na ay veil ang atong mga mata. Maski unsa pa ang pag-explain sa ato, maski Christian family ta, maski Christian school ta, maski unsa pa atong madunggan, magtrabaho pa ka sa Christian company, pero up until na apa ang veil, dili gita kasabot. O dili gita ka-feel, kaya ang veil na sa atong mind, na apo daw sa atong heart. Pero, when we believe, what happens to the veil? The veil is removed. I remember, oh, katong kasal ni Hani, katong gitanggal ang veil. Wow, amazing, di ba? So, kana, pagtanggalun daw, pag natanggal na daw ang veil, unsa ingon dito, we can now reflect the glory of God. So, isa day sa design ni Lord na to, is to be like mirrors. And dapat, ang i-reflect ni mo, dili ikaw. Igawas, sa mo gawas nga image sa imuhang mirror, kay dapat si Jesus. Pero kinse mo ingon ninyo nga layo pa kay ka the same way mo rag si Chakadal compared ato nga ko ano reflect Lord layo pa gid ka ayo ko pero ang amazing thing ani unsa ingon the spirit will make us more and more like him in among tupad you are not alone in this journey idili day ni siya ato ato lang God himself will help us to become like him up until mo abot sa time nga parihas na ta. Kinsa ga aspire ana, no? When you read the Bible, make it your prayer, Lord. I wanna be like you. Mabasa nato sa Bible very early in the morning when it was still dark. Jesus got up and prayed, Lord. I want to have that hunger. I want to have that longing. Nga maski lami pa ka ayo mo higda sa bed mo bangon jud ko, Lord, because I want you. Becoming like Jesus. Diba? Ini ko ano ito, nakaremember mo ka tong time, nga gitempt siya ni Satan. Ang iyarang gitubag, Bible verse, Lord. Dagan kay kag memorize ng mga verses. How many of you, you have memory verses? During the IDMC, na, na-meet na ako, akong classmate sa high school. And naulaw ko kay, ang iyang gina-memorize, dili na lang verses. Tibuok chapters na. Kaya ni ka-memorize ako si Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, si OMG, layo pa ko sa tinood. Pero grabe, ang iyahang pag-love, no, sa word. Lisod biya mag-memorize, di ba? And kita sa inyo, lisod gani mag-memorize ang equation, lisod mag-memorize ang mga quotable quotes, tibuok na baka chapter. Pero if you love the word, you will spend time. Makaingon ka, Lord. Hindi li pa man ingon, Ana, akong kasing-kasing. Make me more like you. Ka remember mo atong time nga si Jesus naglakaw og layo nga gikapoy na siya. Ganahan na siya mo pahulay. And then kita siya sa katong woman at the well. Iya pang gi-minister ang babae ni makauna-huna ta Lord. Ako kung kapoy ko bahala na na sila dira oy matug na lang ko diri. But Jesus is not like that. 
Katong si Jesus, giaway-away, gipangluwaan. Wala man lang siya, kamuha ako ang ginoo, pati yung tamo, wala. What was Jesus' response? Silence. Kita, kung awayon ta na, bantay lang yun ni ako na ganilang awayon na, wala na makalimut na ganyan sila kung kinsa sila. But Jesus is not like that. Are you there? Katong na ay tao nga, caught in the act of adultery. And then ang mga Pharisee, oh, ingon ba ang book of Moses nga pwede na to na siya stone to death. Usahay, judge your kaita. Kasi mo ingon, Ana. Murag, we are not a people known by love. We are a people known to have judgment. Hay, kana siya. Ang anak gina siya. Mababang lipad na babae. Hay, kana siya. Maay lang na siya susugod. And then magadugay, mawala na na. Kasi na yung mga judgments dire. Di ba? But Jesus is so amazing. Katong babae nga caught in the act of adultery. Wala na dyan ito yan, no? Wala na dito excuse. Wala gani niya. Gipapatay. Grabe ang compassion. Grabe ang gugma ni Lord. Ay naman kapahunang-huna ito. Lord, layo pagid kayo ko. Pero sige lang, tabangan man ko nimo. Make me more like you. Do you desire that? Diba? Ay namang ito pa, desire to be more like Jesus. Diba? Ay ang ingon pa diri, Okay? The Lord will transform us. Ang meaning daw aning transform, it's metamorpho, transformed after being with. Ang transformation di ay mugawas, tungod kay gakuyog ka. So if we want to be like Jesus, then dapat we would also be with Jesus. Nakabantay mo na kay close friend. Parius na mo og mga, ano, mga jargon. Na na mo yung mga beshi-beshi, na na mo yung mga, kung yung mga words ninyo sa mga friends ninyo, di ba? Pero kung dili mo friend, ka nang layo pa, pero the more nga magka-friends mo, magkaparihas. Ang uban gayong mag-asawa, ingno na daw nga pariyo nagnaong. Di ba? Kahit tungod sa pagkuyog-kuyog, na parihas. So if we desire to reflect and be like Jesus, dapat magkuyog-kuyog. Ina mga tupad, spend time with Jesus. Diba? We cannot become like Jesus apart from relationship with Jesus. We need intimacy. Diba? And amazing ni siya, continual intimacy, mag-result to continual transformation up until the day nga pwede na tayo showcase to the world. Diba? Ayun pa to si Paul, ang akong purpose is when Jesus returns, I am able to present the people mature, perfect, just like Jesus. And make it a goal sa inyong life na you will be like Jesus. Are you there? One day. It's really the Lord's work, but we have a role to play. Are you there? So, pangot anay mong tupad. Besh, am I reflecting Jesus? Or murag kulbaan mo, Lord. Kaya ba ako sa answer? Am I reflecting Jesus? Pag-stress ba? Composed ba ako? Oh, diba ang mga tak, remember mo sa disciples, katong na-ice storm sa boat? Gagagako na sila, grabe na kayo sila dito. Jesus was sleeping. Nga. Par joke, natulog na dito na din naman. Pero in the midst of the chaos, Jesus was calm. So kung chaotic ang office, kisa diri rin maka-experience o chaotic ang office, let's reflect Jesus. Let's be calm. Or basin ikaw maging storm, no? magdalag storm. Di ba? Si Jesus, bright. O dagan magstak. Remember mo katong bata pa siya? Asa siya nakita ng dula-dula. Kuyog ang mga, mga Pharisees, mga leaders of the law. Nagtuon sila sa Bible. Di ba kita? Asa tayo maglaag-laag? Joke lang. Pero anyways, we really need to desire to be like Jesus. And lastly, Our relationship with Jesus must result to becoming like Jesus. Na isa ka nindot nga quote dere. Ingon si C.S. Lewis sa iyang book nga Mere Christianity. Asa to? If pwede niyo i-click dere katong sa last part. Ingon siya, if conversion to Christianity makes no improvement in man's outward actions, if he continues to be just as snobbish or spiteful or envious or ambitious as he was before, then we must suspect that his conversion was largely imaginary. 
Grabe. Dapat daw, sa ato ang pag Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I belong to a community. It naturally follows. Nga mausab ta. If parihos gihapon ta, nga marites pariha sa una. Di ba? Nga tapulan pariha sa una. Kung saputon pariha sa una, tanawa yung mong tupad. Then, layo-layo pagita. Even gani ingon si C.S. Lewis, basin. Imagination lang nimo nga nagtuo ka kay Jesus. If our conversion kay Lord does not result to changes, not just changes sa, what's your religion? Christian. Na? Sa una yung mga ibutang RC man to, or none. Pero karon Christian na. It's not just about the change in paper, but in the change of life. And if ever wala daw changes, maybe imagination lang na tanan. Ina mong tupad, nag-imagine lang siguro ko. Ingon sa 1 John chapter 2, verse 4 to 6. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love Him. That is how we know we are living in Him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. In our day and time, dalit na lang kayo mag-deceive. Dalit na lang kayo mag-scam. Kinsay na-scam na. Kinsay na-ilad na. And sometimes, kita po, nati tendency to project. Diba? Post-post lang ka dito. Thank you, Lord, sa Facebook for all the blessings. Ang imo ding image yung i-portray. Ah, kung ang na siya. Close kay Jesus. Pero in reality, layo ra ka sa tinuod. Kaya dalit ra ang good mag-fake. Fake. Diba? Maunang naagyo dapat makita. Pwede ra gyud kayo mag lip service. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Lagi amazing si Lord. Pero kumusta ang atong life? Does it show? Are you there? Ingon dito, you know God? Do you know God? Yes. Do you obey? Mm, I know God. Nato isa ka story si Pastor Edmond Chan gahapon. Na daw to isa ka uh, maayong uh, Christian pastor. Pero nag-commit siya o immorality. And then, di pangota na siya, katong na siya sa prisuhan. When was the time you stopped loving Jesus? And ito bag siya, wala man ko nag-stop o love kay Jesus. Nga nahibong to nag-interview, ha? Wala ka nag-stop o love kay Jesus? Nga no, inaanaman man imong mga asal. Nga no, daghan mga kagipangaway. Nga no, nagbuhat mga mga immorality nga mga stop. And ingon siya, I did not stop loving Jesus. I just stopped fearing the Lord. And sometimes, ingun ana ta, ingun man ka, oh, I love Jesus, I know Jesus, but if we do not obey His commandments, ang sa ingun dito, we are a liar. Baka kun lang daw ta. Bugat, no? So, dili day dapat ikahambo, oy Christian ko ha, parihas mi ana niya. Pero, besh, ang atong kinabuhi, does it reflect Jesus? Exam ogma, waka magtoon. You will resolve to cheating. Okay, umana, no? Kay God, God is a helper in times of need. <laughs> Lord, tabangi ko. Thank you, Lord, sa ano. But Jesus is not like that. He is a just God. Diba? He is righteous. Kinsa sa inyo, no? Sokliana ka, og sobra. Ngun baka thank you ka you Lord sa blessing, di ba? Or imong iuli ang extra. Kinsa sa inyo ni sakay og jeep and then naay tigula nga ni Age. Hmm, piyong na lang ka. <laughs> Pero just like Jesus, imaikuan ang mga iserve ang people. So ma'am, ikaw na lay lingkod. See? Dali ra ka ayo mag Christian Christian. Pero ang tinuod nga basihan sa atong Christianity kung makita sa atong kinabuhi. Ingin ay mong tupad, Besh, tabangi ko nga makita, please. Diba? Those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love Him. Dali ra kayo mo ingon, I love you, Lord! Mo ingon si Lord, ihatag ni. Mo mm. ingon si Lord, buhata ni. Mm. Dali ra kayo mo ingon, oh, I love God. Pero our lives will show if we truly love Him or not. And in Gundira, those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. 
So our standard, in mong tupad, dili ako yung standard. Our standard is Jesus. So in closing, no, nahalang tayo A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D when it comes to imitating Jesus. A, A, we need to adore God. Ingon dito, ganina, di ba? It is positive emulation sa pattern nga worthy. If you don't adore God, nga no ganahan man ka magparihas niya. Pero the more you adore God, the more you worship God, the more you see the beautiful attributes, the infinite beautiful attributes of God, the more you will desire to be like Him. Wow, Lord, you're like this. You are full of grace. You are full of mercy. Lord, you are so good. You are so kind. Are you there? Un say, eh? Adore God. So in practical application, in your life, in your day, parehos matatanan nga na 24 hours, carve out a time to just adore God. Okay, sometimes our time with God is just, A, asking God. Lord, tabangi ko ani, Lord, buhata ni, na, na. But A, you really need to adore God. You could play, I know, Spotify, dagag mga worship songs, dira. Sa YouTube, daghan po doon mga, mga worship concerts, dira. Kinsa nasa Planet Shakers last Friday, di ba? It will help us adore God. Read the Psalms. It's all about adoring God. And dili ka mahut dan, o ika adore kay God. Are you there? A, what do you, what A means? Adore God. B, be humble and teachable. Many times when Jesus is our standard, we realize we're barely scratching the surface. Aliyayu pa kayo ta. Pero if di taganahan i-correct, kinsa sa inyo dari mo, iral ang pride, no? Paglaban, gina ni mong, sayo pa, sakto mong good ni. Lord, okay na mong good ko. Pero kailangan ta maging humble, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Abi na ko, Lord, nga, okay ra di ay, nga. Uh, mas daghan kog tay maglaag-laag, mas daghan kog tay mag magtrabaho, mas daghan kog tay nga magtan-aw og salida kaysa magbasa sa imong word. I realize ko Lord nga dili man day ka ingon ani mabuhi and kalangan ko mausab. Lord, I accept nga sayop ko teach me to be more like you. We need humility and we need to be teachable. Kay nay uban humble lang ko sayup gyud ko sorry kayo. Buhata ni dili lang ko. Wa because na atay own way of doing things. But if we want to be like Jesus, we need to be humble and teachable. Kaysa sa inyo, lisod man i-correct, di ba? Wala man correct, ingon thank you kayo ha, di ba? Usay gyud maglagot ka sa person, magpalayo ka na. Ganahan gyud mo i-defend imong self. Mangud ka kasabot na ako mo na mo yang giingon. Pero we really need to be humble and teachable. Are you there? C. Carve out time to be with God. Diba ingon to dito? If we want to be like Jesus, we need to spend time with Jesus. I could not imagine nga maging more like Jesus ta if ang atong time with Jesus kay Sunday lang. Kay Sunday, oh Sunday, Destiny Church, oh. Pero usa man yung ibuhat Monday to Saturday. We really need to be daily sa ato ang relationship with God. Ina mong to pa daily. Unsa o ni mo, kung ang imong uyab mo, ingon, communicate lang ta once a week. Nakoy friend, o, oh, kwa na lang, off record na lang ni, eh. nakoy friend, nakauyab siya, first year high school pa lang ni. Eh. Nagkita mi, lawyer na siya, uyab gihapon sila. So, pila na to ka years, mga 18 years naman siguro to ni Agi. Pero ko, kumusta man mo, ana siya, wala ko kay baw, kay ira man kong giinan nga, mag-chat ko niya once a week. So, kato nga time, kaya, hmm, Uyab naman mini James ato. Murag weird lagi na mm, scheduled lang. And, and then after some time na hibawan, na naday lain. So murag ingon ana, murag, if you are in a relationship, dili dapat lisod ang daily. Because you like to be with that person. If dili ta ganahan nga mag-spend time kay God, so it's not an issue of time, it's not an issue of schedule, it's actually an issue of love. Maybe you don't love God. That's why it's so difficult for you to carve out time to be with Him. When was the last time? Ganaan ako mo out sa work? Kay mag-worship na ta, Lord. Mag Magbasa na ako ang Bible. Or ang mo-out na ako sa work? Kay naan ako itan awon nga avatar, the last airbender, karon. Diba? Are you there? 
And then last, if we want to imitate Jesus, we really need to delve into the Word. We really need God's Word. As in to really kind of grabbing a swallow can on, grabbing kang a maka, maka, masan na, maka devour sa Word ni God. Because it's in the Word of God where we realize who Jesus is. Oh, ingin ana day si God, ingin ana day si God. If ever walay word ni God, then basta imaginary lang ang atong perception kung kinsa si Jesus. We need the Word of God. Are you there? Pangot ana imong tupad, are you reading the Bible? But it's not enough to just read. Kay inangot ana imong tupad, are you reading the Bible? Yes, ikaw. Ah, kay feeling perfect ka sa basa destiny ko an atong Bible reading plan. It's not just about reading the Bible, it's about meditating the Bible. Kung mag CR baka magunahuna ka sa imong gibasa. Kung magbiyahe kag traffic kayo, magunahuna baka sa Ginoo or kadugay aning traffic kita na lang kag salida, basa-basa na scroll 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 na lang ka. Do you meditate? Ginabalik-balik ba ni mo? Love sa man, eh, five chapters sa muka. Yun, pas, 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 pas. Meditate. Gibasa ni mo ka isa. Basahan pa ni mo balik. Basahan pa ni mo balik. It's not enough to just read. It's not enough to meditate. We need to study. Kay basin sayop di atong pagsabot. Ingon ka, Lord. Nga mo dato. Ako. Waman nag-ingon si Lord. Ingon lagi din nga verse. Ay, lahi di ang context. Sige, sorry, Lord. So, need to mag-study. Ina mo tupad. Do you study God's word? It's not just about reading, but really to study. And not just enough to, not enough to read, not enough to meditate, not enough to study. Do you memorize the Word of God? Diba? Kita sa inyo na ilaw, nakadawat kag love letter at one point in your life. Ano mong balik-balikon, balik-balikon. Ano na kasakuan, nagunahuna, gihapon ka kanindot ato. Ingon, ana pa ba ta? Ingon, ganito ang prayer sa Samis. Lord, open my eyes that I may see the wonderful things in your word. Lord, didi man wonderful akong makita. Lord, tabangi ko, Lord. Because really, God's word is beautiful. If we don't find it to be beautiful, then kita ang nai concern, nai issue, dili ang word ni God. Are you there? We really need to be memorizing the word of God. Kay mo abot ang time, basin mawala na ang mga physical Bible. Di ba? Ang sa mga uban gani nga country kay ilang kanuno lang kay kanang mga country gani nga bawal ang mga physical bible ilag yung kanuna katong mga gagmay nga pieces mo to lang i-memorize nya kita nga dali ra kay mapalit ang bible dali kay nato ma take for granted and not just to study to memorize to read to meditate we need to apply the word para asa pa man ang pagstudy kung dili nato i-apply sa atong kinabuhi so unsa a b c d a B, C, and D, delve into the Word. If we do this, we will embark in the never-ending journey, the most amazing adventure of becoming like Jesus. And masyak na lang ka when you look back one year, two years ago, hulo, lahit na lagi ko. Kasi ganahan na, hulo, Di ba? Nagbago na ka. Mas naging patient na ka. Mas naging loving na ka. Mas naging caring na ka. Mas naging wise na ka. Mas naging disiplinado na ka. And amazing. In this world, we will be like little mirrors reflecting Jesus. What a great world would it be. Let's stand up and close in prayer. Lord, we acknowledge, O oh God, that we are still very, very, very far. And kami mismo, Lord, ako mismo, I have failed you many, 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 many times. But one thing about your love, Lord, is that your love is unstoppable and your love is unchanging it remains to be the same whether I'm good, whether I'm bad whether I've done this and I haven't done that, you continue to love me the same 
and that love, that acceptance just overwhelms my heart with joy. How could a good God love a person like me? If you're like me, you are also conscious of the little monsters living inside of you. That sometimes they take over. Uh, mo lash out ka, mo shagit ka, maging impatient ka, magbagulbul ka, magyaw-yaw ka, magrant ka, magreklamo ka. And then we realize how good, how could God still love us? But that is the great love of God. While we were still sinners, He died for us. His love is not just emotional. His love was practical. He offered up His life so that we who are meant to die could live. And what is the reason for that? Yes, to show His love. Pero it's also because He desires for all the people of the world to know Him. And He needs people to reflect Him because physically, Jesus isn't here anymore. May pato sa time nila Peter, nila John, they could see Jesus face to face. But right now, Jesus is not here physically. Pero, okay ra, na ay plano si God. And what is His plan? To use us, to use people nga once was lost, but now have been found. People who experience His mercy, people who experience His saving grace. God, ang plan ni Lord, gamiton ang kaninga mga tao nga iyang giluwas to reflect Him to the world out there. That even though Jesus isn't here physically, because we are there, we are like little Jesus reflecting Him. But we also realize we are not a good reflection. Lord, we ask for forgiveness, God, that we haven't been a good reflection of You sa aming pamilya lang, Lord. Come on, if you are that person, just really ask God for forgiveness, Lord. Layo pa kay ko sa tinood. I don't reflect you in my family. I don't reflect you in my school. I don't reflect you in my workplace. I don't even reflect you in my community, in my nation. I don't, Lord, reflect you in my social media life. It's not something to boast. I am ashamed. But in humility, I ask you, God, to help me. Because sa kaloob-looban na ako, Lord, I desire to be like you because I know that that calling, that desire, it's you who have placed it sa among heart, God. Because we are your children. We are yours. We naturally aspire to be like you. I pray, God, that when we pray we like you, ma-release ang tanang fear, tanang insecurity sa among hala mawalaan ang iyong identity. But we remember your word, God, that they who lose their life will all the more gain it. Lord, praying to be like you, to be transformed, to be more and more like you, like you, Dili siya kawalan di ay, but it is the greatest gain we could ever have. Imagine kung si Jesus maging mama, si Jesus maging papa, si Jesus maging boss, si Jesus maging anak, what a bright world it would be. And so church, that is our mission in this day and time. We need to become like Jesus. It is our greatest call and it is also our greatest joy because nothing could ever compare to the joy of knowing that you are being used by God to help other people. As we continue, let's respond through this song. Make the lyrics of this song your own.
team specifically to play this song because it's one of my favorite songs as a young person. I heard this during my Destiny Weekend when I was 16 years old. And it was my first time na makakarb o ingon ana nga desire. Lord, it's not just enough to be saved. It's not just enough to go to church. But your desire for me is to be like you. And so Lord, I make that my vision for my life. back, dahil pa rin ko sa katinood. Every day, there are a lot of things na makarealize ko nga sayo, kulang, dili pa jud ko parihos kay Jesus. But also, ay nang ila pang giingon, 
malayo pa pero malayo na and it's really an amazing journey and I really encourage you to embark in this lifelong journey of becoming just like Jesus and it would really be a wonderful time and if ever you're here maybe it's your first time and ganahan ka it would always start close and all heads bow down. If you're here and you're saying, Kenny, I want to believe in Jesus. I want to believe that He is my Lord. He is my Savior and He is the one true God and only Him can save me from my sin and only Him can give me a brand new chance at life. If you're that person, you want to say, Jesus, I believe in you. At the count of three, just raise your hand and we would pray for you. One, two, three. Praise God. Praise God. God sees that hand. God sees that hand. Sa mga nag of hand, just follow me in this simple prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you that I am here today hearing about your wonderful plan and wonderful love for me. I ask for forgiveness for all the sins that I committed. I am sorry, Lord. And today and forevermore, I pray that I will continue to believe in you. Thank you for this new life that you've given me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ingon sa Bible, if naa daw isa ka tao nga mag-make og decision nga mobalik sa Ginoo, naa daw party sa heaven. Praise God. And ang isa pa kami sing ingon ang Bible, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. And welcome to the family of Christ. Palakpakan nato si Lord. Praise God. And also, Close your eyes again. Maybe you've been joining the church, you've been attending life groups, but today you want to make a commitment. Lord, kuyo ko, sama ko sa journey to becoming more and more like you. Help me, Lord. Kay layo pa kay ko sa tinuon, pero mapasalamaton ko nga dili ko nimo pabayaan. Kuyogan ko nimo og ikaw mismo ang mag-enable sa ako ng magbago. If you're that person and you're saying, Kenny, I want to become like Jesus. With all eyes closed at the count of three, just also raise that hand to God as a sign of your surrender. One, two, three. Raise that hand. Let me just pray for you, Lord. You see these hands being raised. I just pray, oh God, that they will encounter you afresh every single day, Lord. That you will be a God who is real to them every day. I pray, Lord, Holy Spirit, enable them to know you in times of magpray sila, magbasa sa yung word. And I pray, God, na makita yun ka sa ilang kinabuhi, Lord, as they take on this journey. And Lord, use them, O oh God, as your hands and feet to this broken world. We love you and we honor you, God. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Are you blessed? Praise God. All right, sino ang na bless? Yeah, you may now take your seat. And now to be more like Jesus, we would like to invite you to encourage you to attend our prayer meeting every Monday to Saturday, sa so Monday to Friday online na via Facebook sa Destiny Church. Search lang niya every 5 a.m. At the same time, nabuntay face-to-face na prayer meeting every Saturday, 6 a.m. sa atong center sa One Kenji. At the same time, to be more like Jesus, let's also engage in belonging to a community. Let's join a life group. No? Na atay mga schedules no? na available sa inyong schedules. No? Pwede ito ko itong mga walay klase sa Wednesday. Na atay Wednesday nga life group. So mga gawor, walay works sa Saturday. Na po tayo mga a life group on Saturday nga available for your schedule. So that's it for our announcement. And of course, 
this is the last last Sunday of the month. We will of course celebrate no ang mga birthday for February. So may request ka to mga ga birthday sa February arita sa front. Na ba yung mga ga birthday of February? Kinsa? Na a? Ah? Kinsa yung birthday sa February? Wala si Charity. Kinsa pa? Wala na? Wala nag birthday? Wala? Kasad good love month man unta charat. <laughs> But of course, keto mga nasa online nga nag birthday this month. Happy birthday! Ato nga greet mo dang nasa online. Happy happy birthday and I hope nag enjoy mo to our online viewing. There is ato ang um, Sunday church there is a destiny. And of course, we would like to invite our VIPs. No second timer, first timer, third timer, or fourth timer. We have our welcome room. Nami ihatag or prepare special for you. And for those also na gusto magpapray, pwede po tama ato sa ato ang ang welcome room because we are open to pray for you. So that's it for this um, Sunday. We hope to see you again the next Sunday, everyone, and invite your friends, family next Sunday. So God bless everyone and happy Sunday. Oh, 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 oh,